Welcome back, and in this video, we will be looking at working with equipment and logistics in Synchro using the Edit as Assigned feature. So it's very common in Synchro that when you import a piece of equipment, you assign that piece of equipment to all of the activities that use it. This will be helpful later when you add equipment costs so that it is calculated based on the task durations, or if you want to do resource utilization. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the relevant tasks, in this case the erection of the steel. So I'll click on the steel column and right click select assign to tasks and that will take me to the structural framing activities. Then I need to figure out the appearance profile I will use. Since this piece of equipment will only be active during these four activities, I'm going to use an appearance profile based on temporary. However, if I use that, and I'm going to use that really quickly, the equipment will be highlighted in blue during those activities, which is okay, however, I don't want that. So I will create my own appearance profile based on temporary. So you should already know how to do that, so pause the video now and create your own appearance profile based on temporary with the active appearance color set to original color. Okay, hopefully you did that, so I'll do that really quick. I'll go to Navigator, Appearance Profiles. If you right click on temporary and then add, then it starts with an appearance profile that already has temporary in it. I'm going to call that equipment. And I'm not going to show this in legend. You can if you want to. However, since it doesn't have any color, I will not show it in the legend. And for active appearance, just use original color. And now I'm going to assign this piece of equipment to these four activities. I'm going to use the control shift A keyboard short key. So now if you look at the schedule, the equipment is not there before the tasks, it's not there after the tasks, but it is there during those tasks. However, we wanted to change locations as assigned to different activities. If we select the crane and right click, edit simple manipulator like we did before, this doesn't work. By the way, you can also do that from the 3D tab and we'll notice that these don't work. And that's because when it is assigned to activities, you have to use edit as assigned and then specify which activity. So I'll right click, edit as assigned. We don't need to edit it as it is assigned to task one because we've already placed it in the right location and that's why we did that earlier. So let's edit it as assigned to task two. You can unassign from here. You can set the focus time on assignment. Now I don't use that feature because whatever manipulator you choose will automatically also set the focus time on assignment. So I'll click on this one and you'll see the focus time move to task two and I can move the piece of equipment like this, as if the crane is supporting the erection of those steel elements. So now as I scrub through the focus time, during task one, the crane is over here. During task two, the crane is over here. Now we have to do tasks three and four. So pause the video now and give that a shot. Okay, welcome back. So I'll just do the same thing for tasks three and four. So right click task three, and then I'll move that like that. Don't be afraid to move the camera so that you can see things better. And finally for task four, right click edit as sign task four. Bring that back over here. So let's deselect everything. Escape key and scrub through the focus time and see how the piece of equipment moves through the schedule. In the next video, we'll show a small challenge that will show how valuable uh, it is to assign the equipment to the tasks that actually use it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.